What goes up? Let's go down. <laughs> Advanced Explosives Demolition Blaster Eric Kelly gets philosophical as he prepares charges for Sunday's demolition of Kodak Park Building 23. Other AED crew members load dynamite into holes drilled in concrete columns. The columns then get wrapped in chain link fence and fabric to hold in the blast. Those charges Eric worked on displace steel columns after shape charges cut them. And then... The gravity will do most of the work. We're basically pulling out the structure from under the building. It'll implode on itself. If you plan to go to Kodak Park to watch the demolition, don't blink. Eight second show, that's it. AED says the biggest challenge it has in taking down Building 23 is the fact that it has steel support structures right next to concrete supports. A piece of shrapnel can potentially fly over to that next column row. You don't want something impeding the progress of the other explosives. Something from there will cut something off from over there. AED says this job is small compared to the biggest job they've ever done, the Sears Warehouse in Philadelphia. Now this is about 480,000 square feet, this building. So if you can imagine a building about seven times as big as this, six times as big as this, wow. in one shot. Once 23 falls all in one shot, Bianchi Industrial Services of Syracuse moves in for the cleanup. The recycling of all the metals, crush the concrete, and reuse it for the back for the basements. 95% of this building gets recycled. After AED presses the button Sunday, they're off to Tampa, Florida to start a new job Monday. Dan Smith, our news. You know, it's just like George Eastman's uh, old saying, you push the button and we do the rest. And with the push of a button, Kodak Engineering Building 23 fell in a matter of seconds after a history that dated back to 1919. Advanced Explosives Demolition Chief Blaster Eric Kelly Sr. liked what he saw. It went absolutely spectacular. Um, a scale of 1 to 10, definitely a 10. 10 is something most of the crowd didn't hear. The blast started a few minutes later than scheduled without an audible countdown. Bill Bianchi of Bianchi Industrial Services heard one on his radio. I think it's perfect. I just, I think everything, went, that's one of the most impressive shots I think we've ever done. Did, the, really. did it scare you? I didn't hear a countdown. Ah, uh, no, it gets my heart going a little bit. Bianchi's firm now has the task of sorting out the metal for recycling and crushing the concrete for filling in the basement. They'll also have to pull down a corner the blast left standing. Well, what we did is on that back corner, because the champion is right next door, uh, their logistical laboratory, what we did is we light loaded those columns and, uh, just to be on the safe side. That way, heavy equipment can easily take down the weakened corner without a problem. That leaves just one more question. Do you like powdered jelly donuts? No, but boy, Elia does, doesn't she? <laughs> and we're sure Eric Kelly's daughter, Elia, a two-year-old blaster in training, wouldn't mind taking one more look. Kodak Park Management expects Building 23's space to be landscaped with grass and trees in a few months. Dan Smith, R News.